guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a summer designer shoe haul for you. As I mentioned a few videos back, I'm in the process of building my designer shoe collection. I never was one to purchase designer shoes really. I was not really into designer shoes. Um, I just, there's something about spending a lot on shoes that I just still can't really justify because shoes get beat up. You're walking in them, that's their purpose. So I just never could rationalize spending a lot on designer shoes. It's, it's very different from like a handbag because a handbag, you can anticipate it lasting and you can take care of it and, and, and kind of treat it very special. Shoes, regardless of the label, they're gonna be through it. So anyways, I however have figured out very quickly that you don't have to spend a lot on designer shoes. Like I've really, Real, like I've been having so much fun doing designer shoe shopping. So first off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, I have not paid regular price for not one pair of designer shoes that I own. Not even those Miu Miu ballerinas that I um, shared with you guys. I didn't even pay full price for those. But the shoes I'm gonna share with you today, I'm loving all of them and I got them at a serious discount like I got all of them like amazing prices so I figured it'd be fun to share with you guys and also share with you guys my kind of designer shoe shopping tips because what I've learned with designer shoes unlike handbags or other accessories is that designers put out these model shoe models but they put out like them in several colors and different finishes and therefore they all get eventually put on sale. And I'm not just talking like 20%, 30%, like I've gotten some designer shoes at 80, 85% off, like crazy prices. So I'm gonna kind of give you guys my shopping tips as I go along and share with you where I purchased the shoes in case you're interested. Some of these shoes I just picked up this past weekend, so they may still be available for you. Also, one subscriber mentioned if I can start including like links below and details below. Thank you so much for that feedback. I will definitely um, start doing that um, moving forward. As I mentioned, these are my kind of summer designer shoes. And one shoe that I had my eye on was a pair of um, low leather sneakers. So I was thinking about the Common Projects or the Saint Laurent sneaker. Now, that Saint Laurent sneaker, you know, I was on the fence about because it's very similar to the Golden Goose sneaker where it's like that distress kind of worn in sneaker, which as I said, I'm already feeling, <coughs> I already feel a way about spending too much on designer shoes. So it's really hard for me to spend a lot on distressed looking beat up already shoes. So <laughs> I was leaning more towards the common projects, which those do get discounted as well. But I was shopping in Nordstrom Rack and I came across these Fry sneakers. So here they are, and they're a pair of just leather, let me show you one at a time. They're just a pair of leather sneakers. They have like that fry. These are very similar to the kind of Saint Laurent's um, common project sneaker. So this is a leather sneaker. It's a little distressed. Again, these are by the brand Fry. But they're definitely um, wearable. And what really drew me into this and made me really fall in love with them is the price. So I picked these up for $35. And these are just gorgeous, like perfect, perfect for summer. Like a leather sneaker to like run around town in. And those were like originally upwards to $200, like $200 plus. So to get them for 35 bucks is amazing. And definitely those kind of filled the need of Common Projects versus the Saint Laurent sneaker. Like these are definitely the like exact shape of the Saint Laurent sneaker. So very happy with that purchase. The next pair of shoes I wanna share with you guys is by the brand Vince. 
I picked up these Vince shoes um, a little before my birthday, actually, and I wore these in London. So these are the Vince Noella leather flats, and I've already been wearing these. As you can see, they're creased. This is a very smooth, soft leather, so as soon as you wear them, they kind of get those creases up front, which are... A little disappointing but I kind of thought these were a simple dress dress shoe these have been super easy for like work just simple days so I've been liking these these I purchased at off Saks fifth um, and I got them they were like I mean these were again over two hundred dollars but I got them for under fifty like actually just at fifty dollars at um, off Saks Fifth. So, yeah, that was a great buy. So, again, these prices are very, have been very affordable so far. I picked up my first pair of Aquazura shoes. I have been lusting after this particular style. Oh my goodness, you have to see the box here. If the shoe fits, buy them in every color. Aquazora has like such fabulous designs and they're all about like comfort and all. Here's their beautiful dust bag, the pineapple. And these are still all wrapped up. These shoes now, I have worn the Fry shoes and the Vince shoes. The other shoes I'm going to show you are literally straight out the box, like brand new, haven't worn them yet. Here are these babies. I got the Aquazura Christie Flats. And they are just stunning. Now, I purchased these on Barney's Warehouse website during their uh, Memorial Day sale, which gave me an extra 30% off their reduction, their like clearance price already. These Aquazuras retail for about $675. And they were on the site, I think, for $260 with the 30% off. And then I had another coupon code that brought these under $160 um, for me. So, honestly, $675 shoes, I paid a fraction of that. And I got them in white. These are This is a summer haul. So, you know, I appreciate the fact that they're in white. I think if I wasn't looking for deals, I would automatically just buy black black, 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 like only black shoes. So the fact that I'm looking for deals, it introduces me to other options. And I think this shoe with the gold details in white are just stunning. And I think it's going to be like the perfect, like sh summer flat with just like summer dresses. And even with like cut off jeans, like I think these are just really, really going to be a nice staple for me. Now, one thing I do want to mention, when you are shopping for discounted um, or shopping through the outlets, sometimes you do have to sacrifice your exact size. These are not my size. These are um, a 40 and, 40 and a half. I, I buy my designer shoes usually in 39, 39 and a half, depending on the style of shoe. So this is a full size bigger for me, which... The only reason why it's doable is because it's laced up so I can tighten it up around my um, ankle, which kind of keeps this heel, keeps my foot in it, like my foot doesn't slip out. So that's the benefit of the style of the shoe. It works even though it's a little, um, it's not quite my size. It's a little big for me, but I still think for the price, I'll just have to lace them up nice and tight and be good but I think that was such a fabulous deal I could not pass them up and I actually I love these I'm so glad I got them and for such a great price okay, so moving on the next pair of shoes I picked up are from Chloe so here are my Chloe sandals which I think are so stunning like look at that like laser cut design in the leather like just beautiful nice stacked heel which I love and it's a really rich brown color which looks so good on me um, against my skin tone it really for me does 
kind of turn into a nude rather than just like does it it doesn't look like just a brown sandal it looks more like a nude on me which is great because again for summer these are going to be amazing i love 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 these i'm so glad i picked them up i got these in the 35 and I got these in a size 39 and a half and I bought these from Neiman Marcus where I did also get them super discounted. These were on clearance and then I think they were having like an additional like 25% off the clearance price which I mean these are quite pricey shoes. They are $800 so I think these may be one of the most expensive ones in this haul but even that a fraction I think I got these for like 80 85% off like seriously a steal um I don't think these are available anymore through Neiman Marcus because again when I shopped during Neiman Marcus they only had two sizes left the 39 and a half and a uh, 40 I believe so I purchased these through Neiman Marcus but um these are all also on sale at off Saks fifth they're not as cheap as what I paid for them through Neiman Marcus but they are still available on all Saks Fifth sites, so I'll put a link below to these if you're interested. Sometimes you have to wait it out and wait for them to get marked down again or get like, a, you know, a sale on top of the sale, like an extra 30% off the reduced price. That's when you pull the trigger and you go for it. Go for it. Like sometimes you just have to wait it out. So I went to Woodbury Commons, upstate New York, and I picked up two pairs of Saint Laurent shoes. Another tip for me is shop at the actual designer's outlet. So Saint Laurent has an outlet there. These shoes, if you're interested in them, I just picked them up this past weekend. You can definitely reach out to the outlet directly and pick them up for yourselves. But I got an amazing price on them. And yeah, let me just show you the shoes. So again, there's Saint Laurent. They come with the gorgeous Saint Laurent stuff bag. And these are so stunning. I'm actually wearing these today too, guys. These, I think, are my absolute favorite find. So here are the shoes. These are a pair of leather flats by Saint Laurent. So these are not real snake skin, by the way. They're just leather with that kind of snake skin print on them. But these are just a flat pair of leather shoes. They had several si like different styles in this same shoe, like different leathers, different finishes. They had one full of stars, which was really awesome. And these, do they tell me the regular price here? No, I don't have the regular price here because in store, the shoe itself had the regular price on it than their sale price. But these cost $100. For Saint Laurent leather flats I mean leather flats that are this well made forget the brand is a good price so the fact that they're Saint Laurent and they were such a good price I couldn't pass them up and I am loving them I'm loving them guys I'm so happy I found these so yeah definitely check out the Saint Laurent outlet you can give them a call I mean they're a designer boutique still so I'm sure they would be willing to ship you a pair of shoes if you want it. So last but definitely not least is another pair of shoes from Saint Laurent. Death bag of course. So my last pair of shoes are these Saint Laurent espadrilles and let me show you one. So these espadrilles, I believe, are stunning. These, um, they did not have the my 39 and a half, so I did size up to a 40, which, um, as the leather gives, they may become a little looser, not sure. But these are just, like, beautifully made espadrilles. I love them. I love the little platform. I actually love the lace-up because it gives it a little bit of a sneaker vibe, too, a little bit of the creeper style. And, um, yeah, I really, really do like that and appreciate that. But I think these are an excellent alternative to the ever so popular Chanel espadrilles, which are sometimes so hard to find. And I believe they are quite pricey. And I just love these are a little different. Of course, it has like the Saint Laurent branding there. And the leather is super soft and smooth. And they're just like a gorgeous 
gorgeous shoe. Like, I'm so happy that I picked these up. I think I, I keep saying, well, this is my favorite. I don't know. Maybe this is my favorite because this was such a great, I think, buy for the price, like a leather espadrille. And I've been always wanting to get another leather espadrille, another um like designer, really nice espadrille since I got the Chanel ones. Like, I wanted a different one. And these definitely fit the bill. Thank you so much for watching today. That's all of the shoes that I picked up recently and I hope you enjoyed this haul. I've definitely been having a lot of fun shopping for designer shoes. Like my favorite places to shop for designer shoes, just really quick. Shop the actual designer outlet. Um, Barney's Warehouse is my next place. Like I love to shop there for, shoe, for, for designer shoes. And Off Saks Fifth is great also. I've gotten really great prices there. And then my favorite like department sort of shop is Neiman Marcus, like not Last Call. I haven't had any luck with Last Call, but Neiman Marcus itself, they have great promotions and I've gotten some really good deals there too. So yeah, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of these shoes or anything else, feel free as always to let me know in the comment section below. Till next time.